what hit us? Why is it Mac and Duncan? We're set. No. It can't be. When I first reached this chamber, the prisoners were scattered. But you have brought them all back to me. Now witness the end of everything you have worked for. The end of mankind. Charging up me hard. Okay, so I guess I had to affect him as well. This just must be in phases, I suppose. Give me the 
did it, kiddo. You found the last P-Core and got the Prime Core back online. Dad? That was Victor. I Dad. called it. What are you? Memories. Parts of me that I hid in Mac and other cores in case something went wrong with the prismatic ones. In case I never made it off Earth. No! Okay, it's okay. Each time you fused a core, you were putting me back together. And now I'm here. Just not the way we planned. All right, everyone, settle down. Especially you, Julius. I gotta go. They need me. Farid needs you. Don't, Dad! Don't leave me all alone! You've never been alone, Julius. And you never will be. I mean, yes and no. What kind of cutscene is this? And there you are. That was Recor. I I guess I read things that said like, you know, you don't go into this game expecting the greatest of story. And as long as you don't think like that, then you should be good. And for the most part, they're kind of right. The the story <laughs> a little goofy, but the story held up enough. I can't complain too much about it. Um the gameplay I really enjoyed it. Like the, it was. It's funny because like I enjoyed what was there. Just I wish that it was like a little more of it. Yeah, it's hard to explain. I, I I mentioned earlier that it reminded me of like Metroid Prime and the Mega Man Zero games, and mostly because like in those in the Mega Man Zero games you. The extra colors, or in that case, it was the different chips. They didn't mean anything to most people. There was some enemies that did, that had their weaknesses to them, but that was kind of it. When people say the Mega Man games, like each weapon is has different uses for different situations, but they were also super effective against bosses. And that's where I think there's a little bit of a differenti differentiation between them. But um. But this, it, it sufficed, sufficed enough, um, having to kind of pick your poison, not poison, uh, pick which one you wanted to give up, whether you wanted more cores or whether you wanted parts to upgrade and assemble blueprints. Um, I found, and like, <laughs> just with that last little bit of upgrading my core bots, like, I had lots of cores to spare. Not, well, not to spare, but... I was definitely swimming in them for, for a little bit. Like, I upgraded Seth's energy maxed out and still had enough to work with after that. So, like, there wasn't much of a consequence when it came to cores. Um, parts were... Okay, I'm just going to ignore that and just say this. The crafting system was probably one of the best ones I've got to deal with. With such a min minimalistic um, influence on it. What I mean by that is like, like you had three tiers of items, and then like, say you're near the end of the game and you're fighting like level 20s and up, like you, you kept getting gold parts, but say you wanted to uh, um, assemble a blueprint and it required silver stuff, like you can disassemble them, uh, disassemble the gold stuff to get silver parts, or if you collected just a bunch of bronze stuff, uh, near like the beginning of the game you want to upgrade like you could bind a bunch of those and get your silvers like there was methods around acquiring your items that you needed and I did a little bit of it here um, not a whole lot because I found blueprints that I wanted and used well enough but um this is very loud I'm hoping this is recording well enough 
got very loud there for a second. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, like, the crafting system was, was really well done. For... No, I won't even mention that just yet. I'll get to it. But crafting was fine. Leveling up was fine. Um, I do kind of wish that it affected more than just the gun for Joel. For Jewel. I just keep saying one to say Joel, but for, for Jewel. Um, like, I, I wish there was a little more to it, I guess. <laughs> like, the, the health, health boosters. Like... I guess in that turn, no, it is still more like Mega Man Zero because you're upgrading your gun the more that you kill enemies, um, and the only way that you're going to get health upgrades is by finding the health boosters. So even in there, it's a little more like uh, Mega Man Zero games. Um, characters, there wasn't a whole lot to go around. Uh, I mean, Victor was Victor. Kai, I'm assuming that's it. Looks like Kai. It doesn't really look like Jewel. Kai is a dick. <laughs> Just that one cutscene just ruined him for me. Technically, two. The one where he jumps onto the tram. But there must be more to this. There has to be. Because he don't. I don't think he's dead. And if he is dead, I'd be very surprised. <laughs> but um, like I said, not that it matters to me too much. Um, Jewel is fine. Uh, <laughs> Seth. Seth's my favorite Gorbot. He's the best. Seth's the best. <laughs> he's super adorable. Just super nerdy. I I would feel like if he was human, he would be like super nerdy. He reminds me a lot of me in a lot of ways, <laughs> even though he d technically doesn't talk. Um, Duncan is fine, but I feel like it was super hard to upgrade Duncan's parts. And I mean, it, technically, I could have moved his core into a different body and used that instead. But like his. His um his lethal was too too good in like major like um, combat areas like that circle of fire thing that's awesome Max kind of took over when I needed more of Mac but whatever um the fact that I finished the game without getting the tank and there was like no clues to it anywhere it's like most games that I do these kind of things I usually stumble upon and or hunt down the tank part, but I have no idea where it would be, and I'm, I don't know, It's it's got to be somewhere, I'm sure I'll track it down on my own sort of 100%ing playthrough, but uh, for now this was just a sort of show the game, get it going, Jewel Eric Soto, I gotta search that up, Eric, Jewel kind of sounds like a different character, I was kind of bringing that up earlier. Natalie Violet. Let's come right in. Um, but yeah, what else? Um, the graphics were at worst glitchy, but not like game ruining, except for that one part. But that wasn't really graphics. That was just the game soft locking on me for no good reason. <laughs> I don't even know how. Um, graphics were fine, like. Like, the, the whole setting, the planet itself, I understand they explain it that they're trying to terraform it. So, like, for it to not be green and blues and other colors everywhere, that's fine. But the, the choice of colors for, like, everything else, it's pretty sweet. Let's watch this. It's Kai. Do it! Do you read me? I made it beyond the storms. I'm alright. And you won't believe what I found. I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! Er, <laughs> You're being a dick because you're causing a cliffhanger. Just what? Anyways. So I called that. But, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, graphics are fine. The, like, the... the the bright colors for everything else it helped really helped everything stand out um, I don't know where it's gonna leave me it's gonna, it's gonna put me Jules crawler 